Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can create consistent graphs in Microsoft Excel. So here on the screen, we have some data and I've plotted four graphs. Now you can see they're of different size, width and all. But when we're going to publish this data, it's always good that we have all the size, all the formatting very consistent. So in this video, we'll see how we can convert the same graph into something looking like this. So without any further delay, let's start the video. So I'll take up a new sheet and I'll come to the sheet one and I'm just going to copy the same data. So press control C and control V. Right. So we have the data. Let me just stretch this up a little bit so that we will be able to see what all we are doing. So let's quickly select the data and start plotting. So I'm just going to take mesh and temperature data. I'm going to insert tab recommended charts and let's go with the line chart. So we have temperature over here and click OK. So when you want similar charts, it's always suggested that you format one chart with all formatting and then we can just change the data, right? So let me just quickly do a few things. If in case you don't know how to format this chart, I will pin the link in the comment box. So set the graph home. I'm just going to quickly change the font to Arial. So you can see everything is done. I'm going to delete this temperature over here. And also while selecting the entire graph, I'm just going to change the graph color to black. And next I need some titles over here. So you can just access title. You can turn on right now. This data is temperature. So I'm just going to change it to temperature and bottom. I know it's the mesh size mesh size. It can be any unit. So let's just, I'm writing mm and uh, for now, let's say this is uh, let's say Kelvin or Celsius, anything is fine. Okay. It's up to you. So we got temperature and mesh size. I'm just going to change the ratio of the graph to somewhere like looking like a square. So it looks good right now. Uh, I need to change how, so it looks like we have a lot of space going waste over here. So let's just fix that. So select here, right click format axis. And right now you can see in the bounds. Okay. The fourth option come to the bounds and you can see that bound maximum value is set to 1.5. However, in our data, we have one as the maximum value. So don't worry, just select that and set it to somewhere around 1.1. In a similar way, if it just changes, you can just change this as well. So you can just make it zero. So it starts from 0.1 to one. So we have this data. Next I'm going to do, I don't want this grid lines over here. So I'm just going to turn them off. Looks good. Now, another thing right now is going 0 0.5 and 1. I want at least a gap of somewhere around 0.25 or so. So make sure that you select here and come back to access options and uh, go to the minor text and you just set it to like 0 0.125. Uh, this looks too tight. So I'll go with 0 0.25 instead. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Next, you can say oh, we don't have any marker over here. So ticks are not there. Select this, add some tick marks. So minor, you can go with inside, major, you can click outside. I mean, this is the way I do. And same thing I will do here as well. So minor, inside, ma major, inside, minor, outside. So this is the way, or you can do in fact the reverse. It's up to you, you can just play around with these things. Okay. Yeah, I think this looks more better. I will do the same thing with here as well. So outside and inside. The axis is grayish color, okay? The axis is gray in color. I don't want that. I want to make it black. So just select that. The bucket option that you're looking here on the format axis option, come to the line option and just change the color to black and just make it somewhere around 1.25 or 1.5. Yeah, anything is fine. And the same thing with the X axis as well looks good now in case you want to bound this thing okay you want to just close this two side as well you can just select somewhere on the white space over here and just make sure that you click solid line under the border and you give the similar thickness so with that you can see your graph is kind of getting the shape next thing what we have to do is uh, it looks great uh, yeah so if you see we have some border going over here in the graph click over there and just make sure there is no border. 
next thing uh, line color if you want to change definitely you can change it just select the line and under the line right now the color is given automatic you can just change it to solid line and you can just change the color to black or you can increase the thickness if required similar thing you can click on the marker and again come to the bucket option over here marker and uh, marker border we can go with no line in the fill we can give the similar color if you wish right so you can see we have the uh, dots over here in case you want to increase the size of this marker or the dots over here you can just click built in and you just change it to somewhere around seven seems to be seven or anything number or or any number I will go with six instead looks good now for me now the graph is kind of ready now what you can just do here, here is just press control on the keyboard and drag the graph like this okay and similar way you can just uh, okay so similar way drag it down once again and here as well you can do the same thing okay so we got something like this now you might be wondering hey what are you doing exactly so this is a cool trick that we are going to see now select the trend line or the select the line that you have now if you see the mesh size remains constant everywhere but the temperature is changing now we don't want temperature anymore we want to show displacement over here so what you have to do is just take this blue box that you're looking and just put it to the next okay so you can see the data is changed in a similar way you can do here as well so just select the line and change the rectangle to velocity and we can do the same thing to the pressure as well great so now I think you need to fix a few things uh, that happens uh, because of some some reason which I really don't know so you are just change it to black and make sure that you give the same thickness which we took to last time similar thing here as well so just change it to black color and a width of two I will do here as well okay two with black color and now let's just quickly change the units and the title so this is displacement um, you can just write any units I'm just uh, I'm just writing it like this and then uh, let's say next is velocity uh, velocity that is let's say mm per second or it can be any unit and the last we have is pressure uh, let's say it is kilopascal right so this is the way you can create cool graphs and let's say for example okay now one thing uh, one more quick suggestion that I would like to give you is let's say uh, in this temperature plot you can see uh, it's starting from 300 so this space is kind of a waste right so what you have to do is just right click format plot area and just click on this axis over here and come to the axis option and uh, the minimum value let's start from 200 because the the zero over here doesn't make any sense right so just make it 200 and uh, in fact up also I can increase to somewhere around 600 or maybe 550 okay and even bottom also let's go 250 somewhere I mean you you have to cover the entire region of the interest so this is the way you can create consistent graphs in Microsoft Excel now the last thing that we have to see is how to export these graphs select all the graphs so how to do that you have to press you have to press and hold the control button on your keyboard and keep on selecting all the graphs right now right click and uh, you have some option you have an option called save as picture I usually save my content in a TIFF format so that I get the best quality in fact you can see I have some other already posted let's say I will give as demo consistent graphs right so I'll just going to click save now let's say you want to put this in your word document so let me just open a word document how you have to do that so you can come to the insert tab pictures this device and you come to the pictures option and the picture that we have saved is called the demo consistent graphs you can click insert 
and here we go we got good quality graphs just from microsoft excel i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and and do consider to share this video with your friends i am jitendra churasia here signing off from this video thank you